This is our water, but what if I told you the water that comes out of the tap is not as clean as you think? An eyewitness news investigation found that lead in water fountains is a serious concern for schools in our area. Here's investigative reporter Kristen Thorne. Sandra, we analyzed the most recent reporting data for schools in New York and New Jersey, and we found that 43% of schools in New York and 56% of schools in New Jersey had water outlets test beyond the recommended maximum amount for lead in the drinking water. Now, there is no federal requirement for most schools to test for lead. It's up to the states. Connecticut, for example, has no state laws or regulations to address lead in schools' drinking water. Schools in New Jersey and New York, however, do, and in fact, Act, both states have strengthened their regulations in the last two years. Getting a sip of water in between classes wasn't something students in the Jersey City Public Schools District could do easily until recently. This is what their water fountains used to look like because of lead contamination. My commitment as the superintendent is that our children have drinkable water. The school district is using $10 million in federal and state funding to replace all the lead pipes in the district. The last phase, that's about 14 buildings left. The issue of lead in drinking water is a problem for many schools in our area because of old water fountains and the school buildings themselves, many that were built with lead pipes in the 19th and early 20th centuries. When you have old buildings, you have old plumbing. Um, you're going to have lead. Lead is particularly harmful to children. Even low levels of exposure have been linked to learning disabilities, stunting of physical growth, and damage to the nervous system. We reviewed the testing data in New Jersey and found that nearly 60% of schools in the state issued notices to their school communities last school year that lead had been found in drinking water. In our viewing area, the Toms River School District had the highest number of outlets, 56, test beyond the EPA's acceptable limit for lead. The superintendent told Eyewitness News that some of the water outlets were not used for drinking, and if they were used for drinking, they were shut off as a result of the testing results. The school district says filtered water fountains have been installed in every building. In New York, we found it in our cover. Now, this information is quite alarming, and I'm thinking, is it limited to just our school system, our school pipes, or should we be concerned about our everyday water use? Now, this is not to scare anybody, but just to caution you on your drinking water. First head out without my New York City tap water. Hot outside. I urge every New Yorker to drink up. Tap water is the best. Report about the water you're drinking from plastic bottles. CBS's national environmental correspondent, David Schechter, has the details. It's a sobering study and could have profound health implications on the way we consume water. Scientists at Columbia and Rutgers now say an average liter of bottled water contains nearly a quarter million particles of nanoplastics, each the fraction of the width of a human hair. There's been a wealth of research on larger microplastics, much of which end up in oceans, breaking down into tiny fragments. A potential environmental nightmare, but the World Health Organization has called the medical risk low. But with nanoplastics... Do you think there is a reason for concern? Yes, when they are getting into the nano size, can potentially can get into the blood and then they can be transported to the vital organs. The particles there can actually bypass the cells of the GI system. The International Bottled Water Association says there's no scientific consensus on potential health impacts, and media reports do nothing more than unnecessarily scare consumers. Have you changed your own personal use of water bottles after learning this? I intentionally cut down my water, I mean, bottled water consumption maybe by, by half. These scientists recommend consumers use tap water to fill up aluminum bottles as a safer alternative. We definitely need to protect our schools, protect our children, and protect ourselves from drinking contaminated water. Not only is there lead in our water, there's microparticles in our plastic bottle. We just can't escape the fact that there's contamination everywhere. We're living in Western civilization. There you have it, folks. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.